Hello Scorpio, this is your prosperity reading and a prosperity reading is about the energies that are impacting your earthly life. So this includes like opportunities, this includes finances or even your personal energy level, okay? So let's see what the um, prosperity quotient is for you this week. Now if you're interested, you can download a prosperity meditation, the details you can get in the description box below. So I'm going to pick three cards and then from there we'll, we'll, we will expand on what the three cards mean. So we have seven of hearts, the first card, and then we have four of crystals, and then we have guide of swords, okay? And I think, you know, for you, Scorpio, this is not the first time that you have guide of swords, right? Now, let's look at the first one. Seven of Hearts. You're coming to a point of um, deeper contemplation into what's going on within you emotionally. So certainly a lot of us rest, a lot of self-love, self-affirmation, all of these inner work that's needed to be done because you're almost at a point where you um, are preparing to enter the next phase of growth, next phase of development in terms of your prosperity. So the emotions need to be looked into in order for you to be at a more stable position, right? When you are more stable emotionally, then obviously prosperity flows much more effectively. So take more time for quiet contemplation, rest, um, have clearer thoughts in your mind. And one important thing is not to become a victim of situation and circumstances in your life and to really reclaim your power, right? Reclaim your ability to be the uh, the master of uh, the creator of your life, okay? Because your second card is a really nice one, is the four of crystals, right? So four of crystals is about, crystals usually is about earthly life, what's happening, so you are rebuilding, you're, you are kind of like starting a new, right? Starting to build something. So this could be a project, it could be a a work thing that you have taken on or it could be an you know it could be a new job even uh, or a new business if you are running a business so you are now building things and i feel that you know once you get this sorted out within yourself you will be much more confident in pursuing this pursuing this new opportunity coming your way right and the third card guide of sorts is asking you to really face the truth of who you are and your ability and to really reclaim that and also um, that on the path towards prosperity you really do need to seek the advice of other people other people who are clearer emotionally clearer mentally clearer in their goal setting um, it is time for you to seek help from others who have been there before you and that it is okay to ask for help right it is okay to learn from others Right, so you see this group of people in front of you. This is a bunch of people who have more experience than you, uh, life experience basically, and that it is important for you to seek help from others. Um, sort is about truth, so facing truth, right, is very important in your journey this month in order for you to up your prosperity quotient. So let's get some clarifiers here. We want some inspirational messages for Scorpio. And we have, look at the bigger picture, right? Important one, look at the bigger picture. When you are able to see things from a bigger picture, then things becomes clearer. Whoa, did you see those cards flying? I'm not sure if I'm going to pick them because there are too many. <laughs> so let's pick a new one here from this deck. It says a time for healing, right? Like the first card we got, time for healing. Really need to heal the inner self in order for you to know where you stand in, you know, in terms of your job, in terms of what you want to create for your life. Okay, so let's pick one more for you, Scorpio. And we have belief in the impossible. All right, this is an inspirational one. Belief in the impossible. Okay, Scorpio, I wish you a wonderful month. Now, this uh, monthly reading for Prosperity Energy um, last from middle of the month to the middle of the next month, okay? So I wish you well and I will see you again very very soon. Bye for now